Since I did a video on uh, custom revolver grips, I thought while I was at it, I might as well do one for the custom 1911 grips. And there is just a wide variety of just practically anything you can think of available for a 1911 as far as grips go. And they're offered by people that make them professionally, people that make them uh, just as a hobby, a little extra income. And a lot of these uh, guys that do it for a hobby will put their stuff up on eBay for sale, and, and some of it uh, they sell very reasonably. These three across the top all recently came from uh, eBay auctions from the same seller, and I would assume that uh, the guy is uh, that's selling them is the same guy that's making them. They're nice quality and not very expensive. And he's been selling them with all sorts of different, uh, made from different woods. Um, I'm a complete idiot when it comes to uh, exotic woods, so I can't really tell you what this stuff is. But um, they are, they fit well, and they're pretty good quality. Now this one up here. Well, on all three of these, I don't think that I, including the shipping, I don't think I gave more than $20 for any of these, across the three across the top. This one here is a 70 series Colt Commander in 38 Super. And this one is a Series 80 Colt Officers ACP. It's been worked over some, made into a uh, carry comp type uh, pistol. This one's an Irwindale uh, Javelina, which uh, Irwindale is uh, basically AMT, Arcadia Tool and Machine, I believe is what uh, Ar Arcadia Machine Tool, I believe is what uh, AMT stands for. And that one's a 10 millimeter. The officer's ACP obviously is a 45 ACP. Now, this one here has a set of uh, Chem RN's uh, 1911 grips. Now, mostly they're known for their uh, Smith & Wesson revolver grips, but they also make some very nice uh, 1911 grips. Now, this one's done with oil finish, and basically RN's will... Uh, Make them any way you want them. And uh, that gun is a kind of a Frankenstein's monster there. <laughs> it's a, an old auto ordnance frame with a Colt top end. And uh, internal parts came from who knows where. It's somebody's uh, early attempt at a race gun in 38 Super. And it's not the most beautiful gun you'd ever run across, but it is. It, the function is uh, perfect on it. It may not be beautiful, but it uh, works good. And this one here is a, a Taurus 1911. One of them they put out recently with the gold uh, polished stainless with the gold accents. And it came with some rather ugly uh, uh, black plastic grips on it. And uh, I got these grips from Carl Wallace. Now, Carl is a master craftsman when it comes to wood, and uh, especially 1911 grips. And he'll make them any way you want them, uh, made out of anything you want. Uh, carve your initials into them, your, uh, name of your favorite sports team, or whatever. Yeah. His work isn't cheap, but uh, I don't know of anybody that makes better grips. And I'll... Uh, when I post this video, I'll um, put uh, links in the in the description of it uh, where you can find these people, uh, RNs and uh, Carl Wallace's uh, grips. And I don't know uh, what the guy's name is that makes these others, but I'll uh, if he's still got some for uh, sale on eBay, I'll uh, post a link to that where you can see that. Now. These grips here that aren't mounted on anything, these are solid pewter. 
And at one time I had them on that uh, Colt Commander 38 Super. Uh, well, matter of fact, they were on it when I bought it. And I didn't really... They're, they're nice looking, but I guess I just wasn't that fond of them. And they are made out of solid pewter. They're hollow inside. And I think these uh, command a fairly high price, uh, the ones I've seen them sell on eBay anyway. See them sell anywhere from, uh, maybe anywhere from 40 to $100. And I suppose uh, since I've not uh, used them on anything, I probably ought to put them up for sale, but uh, who knows, someday I may buy another 1911. It's got ugly rubber grips on it, or maybe I'll stick them on there. I, for now, I think I'll keep hold of them anyway. Now this one here is an interesting gun. It's got some strange history to it, I would imagine. It's it's a Colt Lightweight 38 Super Commander, a lightweight commander from the 1950s. And somebody has uh, refinished it in nickel with gold accents. And they have put uh, some and usually when somebody makes a gun like that, they uh, don't shoot it a whole lot. They'll, you know, put it in a display case. But this one here has been uh, used enough. They've started to wear some of the gold plating off of it. And sometime I'll do a, a video just on this gun. But uh, right now I just want to concentrate on these grips. Now these grips are uh, solid silver and gold plated. On the inside of the grips, you'll, uh, I'm not going to take them off right now, but uh, on the inside of the grips, it says Mexico and .925 fine, which is, I would assume, the silver content. And these are not hollow grips like these, uh, like these pewter ones are. These are solid. They probably, uh, there's probably six or seven ounces of silver in these grips. They're heavy enough that it uh, it makes this uh, lightweight uh, commander feel like a like a, a steel framed one. And it would be my guess that these grips are uh, probably about the same age as the gun, probably from the 1950s and from Mexico. And you can still get silver grips today with uh, gold plating, uh, pretty much like this, but they'll be uh, hollow like these uh, pewter ones are. Uh, like I said, these here are, are solid. Uh, they're not hollow at all. And it's kind of an interesting old gun. I don't know. It, uh, I got it off of one of the early uh, auction arms uh, auctions. And if I recall, it came from a, a Texas pawn shop that was selling it. Like I said, sometime or other I'll do a... Uh, video just on that uh, on that gun but uh, for now I just wanted to concentrate on the different kinds of uh, grips that are out there and you can find just about anything you can imagine uh, the people are making them out of uh, pl uh, clear plastic with uh, people's pictures in them or things like that uh, gold grips uh, just about anything you can imagine. But anyway, just wanted to give you a look at some of the stuff that you might run across if that kind of stuff interests you. And I guess that's about it.